15 children in the UK have now died this winter due to the bacteria Strep A. It's also on the rise in other European countries, such as France. Now, it is treatable, but misinformation has already been spreading online about what is causing this uptick. So what exactly is this bacteria and what illnesses does it cause? Well, it's spread through close contact with an infected person. It's mostly mild, but in some cases it can cause scarlet fever, whose symptoms include a rash, sore throat and other flu-like markers. Now, in some cases, strep A may be able to get into your bloodstream, where it could be dangerous if left untreated. However, as, as I said previously, if antibiotics are used, this shouldn't be a problem. Now, some people online have falsely been trying to link the rollout of flu vaccines for children to this rise in strep A. In particular, they've noted one paper with a very eye-catching title, Live Attenuated Influenza Vaccine Enhances Streptococcus Pneumoniae and Streptococcus Aureus. Now, the problem here is it's not very useful in this context. As this analyst noted, neither of those two bacteria are, in fact, strep A, which has been causing these deaths in children recently. Or, as the Shadow Health Secretary of Scotland put it on Twitter, strep A in kids has nothing to do with nasal flu vaccines. Now, strep A with other important diseases, it's important that you get your information from trusted sources only. And if you or your children have symptoms of strep A, it's very important to go to a doctor as soon as possible. In severe cases, it could be the difference between life and death.